Hello everybody, this is Mystic Jen. I'm here with your daily tarot reading for Monday, July 28th, 2019. I am starting to do a little bit better. I'm getting a little bit of feeling back. Unfortunately, it's not in my hands. Um, I'm waiting on that to happen, you know. But a little bit in my arm, a little bit in my leg. After um, some of you is first tuning in, and I'll um, let you know that, well, I had a stroke on Thursday night. So, but I am not going to let this beat me. Definitely not. So anyhow, I'm going to see how well I do with this. Um, now, keep in mind these readings are general readings. Not, not specific to any, um, any sign. And they are timeless. This is just a general advice or message coming from spirit. Okay. I still struggle with, with shuffling a little bit, but I definitely try. I'm not going to be reading any reversals at all. Because that's just a little bit too hard to get with my hands the way that they are. Okay. So, if a card comes up reverse, you'll see me turn it right side up. Because I didn't even go through this uh, my tarot deck to find out if there were reversals in there or not. I, there probably are. Anyhow, let's get a general message for today. And this is Flowers of the Night Oracle Cards, by the way. And we have Understanding. Okay. This could mean a lot of things. This could be, I mean, having a little bit of understanding what's going on. Some people might be, I feel like there could be people going through spiritual things, spiritual awakening, awakenings. Maybe prophetic dreams and understanding them under, or and other people could have situations going on and trying to understand exactly what it is that's going on. And what I'm going to do is grab what I call my reader glasses. They're my old glasses. Um, they're only good for reading. And I'm going to go into the book, actually, and read about the understanding card. Okay. Okay, this card is... Okay, the flower speaks of new perspectives and leads us to explore inner wisdoms. <coughs> Excuse me. Which may have... Oh, day, geez, which may have been a little hard to find in the past. Empowerment may come from a new insight. Regaining control of situations is a very is also very much indicated. Your destiny is in strong focus as well. So, what is it that is going on right now that may help or hinder your path? The sensual aspect of relationships are highlighted, so it's a wonderful time to explore, have fun, enjoy yourself, a time to celebrate the radiance of your being. Sensi sensitivities are also running a little high, so look to ways to ground your emotions or step back and let them run their course. Challenges you may face include Losing perspective, not following your own purpose, and giving away your power. Okay, that's very, very strong. 
how many of us, I mean, you're coming here for a tarot reading, so there's a lot of people in the same situation, giving away your power, losing perspective, losing focus, and understanding is about getting back on track and understanding what your purpose is and where, what direction you need to go in. Very powerful. Now, the truth be told, if I can shuffle this deck. I was trying to find decks of cards that were easier to shuffle. Like thinner paper. I believe shuffling can help me with my motor skills. It may not help with my sensations. But, okay, let's see what additional messages come up. As I said, I'm not doing any reversals. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. The seven, seven of Wands is somebody who seems to be, who thinks that they're up against the world. They have a lot of opposition. And this is tackling the opposition. This is being empowered. This is being, um, having control. Standing up for yourself. When opposition comes and people challenge you. Standing your ground and not wavering, not giving in. You know what's right for you. And we also have Seven of Pentacles. Two sevens here, folks. Two sevens. And this is the Seven of Pentacles is calling about patience. It is watching and waiting for the seed that you planted. For the effort that you put in to take root and to grow. And not letting anybody stop you, as in the Seven of Wands. Don't let anybody stop you. You're on a growth spurt. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is wealth and family. This is the family. Um, this could be the family business. Um, this could be um, the foundations of your family. Going against the norm, and what I'm feeling already is a someone who is maybe standing up against their family because they're trying to do something that maybe the family doesn't necessarily approve of. Okay, and we have the world and the will of fortune. Wow, you want to talk about karma. You want to talk about destiny. This is an ending of a cycle and fortune coming to you. Okay, so this line of cards here, what I see is um, standing up, standing strong, perseverance, not giving control over to somebody else. This is like your destiny that you are you are fighting for. The central issue is the family. So that this is something dealing with the family. And the seeds have been planted and you started a project, you started something. This could even be a relationship that the seeds are planted that the family is not too keen on. Okay? It looks like somebody's gone through a troublesome phase. And this is it's taken quite a while to come to fruition. And it is coming to fruition. The world is the end and a beginning. This is, so the wheel of fortune is a 10. It's a beginning and it's the ending a new beginning. We've got two tens here, two sevens. Okay. Um, we are talking about new perspectives, new look on life. Sevens are about perspective new perspectives is one aspect of the sevens 
And this card here is talking about new perspectives also. So we definitely have a new beginning here, a new way of looking at things, a new way of looking at life. And maybe the uh, somebody in the family, it might be rocking the foundations because it's causing arguments, it's causing fights and disputes because somebody does not agree with your way of thinking or your way of doing things. But you have to stand up for yourself and do what's right for you because you're embarking on a brand new path and it's your destiny. Um, fate, the universe has the wheel and things are good fortune is coming to you. You just got to stay strong and stay steadfast. Okay. And I'm going to ask, why is the Seven of Wands here? I'm losing cards because of my grip. Sorry about that. Why is the Seven of Wands here, please? Five of Swords. This is winning, but at a cost, okay? This is definitely conflict. You've been involved in some major conflicts in regards to the goal or where you want to go. And this is about choosing your battles wisely, okay? There are some battles you need to just push on through and not even fight about and just do your thing. But you've been, you've been feeling very defensive lately because uh, people are coming against you. And your, things are going to go your way. There might be a cost. Just saying there could be a cost to it. Okay? And the Seven of Pentacles is here as the hangman. <laughs> How fitting. This is somebody who's stuck and left in limbo, okay? Um, I'm getting an understanding why this card is here. Why understanding came. Uh, and, and I'm also seeing from Spirit, this is coming to an understanding with a family member. May, I, I'm getting another message here that the, the quarrels, the fights, the arguments could be coming to an end, okay? Everybody coming to an understanding. You've been left in limbo, just hanging in there. But the hangman is also about seeing things in a new perspective as well. Okay. Uh, if I was titled this video, it's probably going to be a new perspective. Having a new perspective. Okay. Um, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Tower. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, that's kind of fitting too. A blow up within the family. This is what's happened. There's a blow up in the family, a shocking, a lightning strike. Something that did, was not foreseen, something that did not come. And something that's breaking down old concepts, old ways of thought. You know, this is breaking down the old ways to make way for the new. So, within this family unit, the old and outworn, what's not serving, is gone. And I'm feeling like with these cards here, there was an, probably an explosive argument. And it left you needing to look at things in a new perspective. And you did well. You stood up for yourself and persevered. There may have been a loss... I'm feeling like some sort of loss associated with the family that maybe not speaking to a family member anymore or something. However, it's like it's end, it's an ending of a cycle. It's like this is going to be over. I feel like all the trials, all the argument, all the issues, it's going to be over. And I'm feeling like this could be also going into a time of healing, healing the family issues. And with the <clears throat> world card <clears throat> comes the Ace of Swords. This is the sword of truth. This is the sword of victory. So I'm definitely getting a feeling of victory in this situation. 
And this is also a new beginning, new communication. So whatever happened in the past with the family that, uh, that you were on the outs with someone or multiple people, because I'm actually see feeling like multiple people because I'm seeing a lot of wands coming towards you. And there's multiple swords involved. There's more, than, there's more than one person, I feel. And it caused this big uproar, this big uplifting, because you did not waver. And that's a good thing. They're not living your life. You are. Okay? And I'm feeling like more and more that this deals with a relationship that you got involved with that, that involves with that they did not agree with. That's what I'm feeling more and more. That's what that's, this is about. Um, death and the Wheel of Fortune. This is a transformation. This is an ending. Well, I just got done saying all this bullshit from the past is ending. Transformation, new beginning. Thirteen equals a four, which is structure, the stability, foundations. So this is making way for new foundations here. Okay, so. <clears throat> so yeah, I would say this is a start of a new foundation. I feel like this the line of communication, there's a road here. I'm seeing this. Oh my God. I'm seeing this. I just got done saying. And there's people, there is people gathered. There's the swans. The swans are about love. There's a butterfly there about communication and transformation. And there's this bright light around the sword. Okay. The truth has already been out. And I'm feeling more that this is about a new line of communication. Communication is opening up. You're entering a new phase with whoever this was. I feel peace. You know, here I feel all this turmoil, gut-wrenching, uh, you know, nightmarish, nervous breakdown type energy. But over here I feel peace. And there's a transformation. There's a pivot, of, pivot point here. And it, the central issue here is definitely a breakdown in the family. But the lines of communication are starting to open. There's a new phase opening up here. And it's all ending. And the universe is bringing upon a transformation, a new beginning. Okay. Um, for some of you, I'm getting another issue here. And this is not going to be for everybody. For someone out there, this may be only for one person, I don't know, but for someone, death, tower, family, there could have been a death in the family that caused an uproar, just saying, um, family members bickering, maybe over the estate, over the money, something. I'm just saying that there could have been, a, for someone, there was a death in the family that has caused an uproar. Whether it's how the um, arrangements were handled or the estate or, you know, maybe you were the execu executors or executrix to the estate and people battling and fighting over things. Um, I'm feeling that that's only for a select one or two people. And this is about balance. This is definitely, I'm feeling negotiations. Talking things out. Communicating, trying to restore balance. And this could go for both situations. Negotiations about settling in a state and negotiations about what other issues, about a relationship or whatever. And decisions being made. Um, which at whatever situation it is for you, it is about restoring the balance. And communications open up, negotiations, talks. You know, I feel like talking things out. Strength. Blood is thicker than water. 
This is the courage and the strength of standing on your own. This is the courage and the strength of dealing with this. And there, it takes strength for forgiveness. This is coming from spirit. It does take strength to forgive. So, um, and I want to take a look at the bottom card, which is the full. Oh my God, how many times have I said new beginning, new start, new journey, starting over, opening the lines of communication, starting a new path. There's the full. To sum it up, you know, looking at things on a new perspective and starting over. Uh, this is so profound. Um, this is definitely for somebody. This is not going to be for everybody, but this is for someone. But that's what I have for you, and I thank you for being patient uh, with my shuffling and everything else with my because of my stroke. Uh, but I will see you later, and I love you all. Please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, please do see the description box below. I am slow on the personal readings right now for obvious reasons. I can't overtax myself right now because I myself am healing. Um, so, but if you like one, get on my list and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Thank you and have a great day.